So we're going to go back to the third Doctor, who is played by John Pertwee, and here he is. He had three companions, Liz Shaw, Joe Grant, and the first of Sarah Jane Smith. And I guess the Brigadier counts as a companion too because they became friends. There were five series of the third Doctor. He was cool, suave, and technology oriented, and he didn't like authority. He was the first Doctor to actually fight a foe because he liked karate. He liked cars. He had this thing called the Who-mobile, which was like a hovercraft and he flew around in it. And then he also had Bessie, which was his yellow roadster. Again, he's exiled from the Time Lords and he's exiled to Earth, so he can't leave there. I think his TARDIS stops working or something. And he spends most of his time working for UNIT. He was a very fancy doctor. He liked smoking jackets, uh, frilly shirts, matching pants, um, formal boots, shoes, cloaks, bow ties. Bow ties are cool. And leather gloves. Later he was kind of nicknamed the Dandy Doctor. It was the first Doctor Who to be shot in color. This Doctor had the first examples of Autons, Omega, the Centaur and Sultrans, and the Daleks came back after not being around in the second Doctor. He's one of the only Doctors never to actually have experience with the Cybermen, but when he does the five Doctors, he does meet them. One of his favorite sayings was, reverse the polarity of the neutron flow, which he later explained doesn't really mean anything. John Pertwee just thought it was funny. So the next Doctor will be five, hopefully.